Hello, and welcome back to my online lessons. I am going to be doing tuning for this lesson. Um, I am using the Boss Chromatic TU Chromatic Tuner uh, tuning pedal. You can use any tuner, a little tiny um, tuner is totally fine. Um, I will be using the electronic tuner though, that's important. Um, so my guitar is going to be plugging into this, this little input jack here. But if you guys um, have acoustics and you use the, the tuners with the external mics, that's totally fine. They're going to react the same way. So um, it's all the same, same basics and stuff. So anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, guys. So um, I got the close-up here. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start by uh, just going through the string names. So from thickest to thinnest, or lowest to highest, that is, the lowest string, the sixth, is an E, the fifth is an A, the fourth is a D, the third is a G, the second is a B, and the first is also an E. So I'm going to talk a little bit now about um, the chromatic scale. What a chromatic scale is, it's actually the 12 possible semitones that we have in our musical system. So our, uh, our natural notes are actually A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So the first seven notes of the musical alphabet. Now a chromatic scale actually adds five more notes. If we have our whole chromatic scale, we have an A, an A sharp, a B, a C, a C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then it repeats back at A. Okay, so this tuner works in the way that um, I kind of think of it as it works like a needle. Um, just think of it as like a kind of like a dial, you know, like a speedometer dial or something like that. And so, um, for instance, when I hit this low string, if I turn my tuning peg and the pitch goes down, the lights go lower. So even the cat knows what's up. If the pitch goes up, the lights go farther to the right, kind of like it would if you're speeding up. Now, the little yellow lights are just telling you which direction to go. They're actually arrows that kind of point inwards. So the idea is to kind of balance this in the center. Now, before you do any of this, you want to make sure, of course, that the letter that's written is the letter of the string. So because this is the low string, this should be an E string, the low E. And this is pretty stable. I like to wait a second or two to make sure that the string kind of evens out and you get a nice solid fundamental pitch. Uh, something else that you should do is cover up every string you play except the one that is ringing because as this the guitar rings uh, it's going to create some overtones from these other strings even though they're not actually you know being strummed um, since the body of the guitar resonates it's going to make those strings resonate and you're not going to get as pure of a fundamental pitch for the tuner to work with. So the next string is the fifth string, and this one's actually in pitch. I'm going to get it out of pitch just so we can work with it. So we're significantly lower. Now if you look it says G, and it's all the way at the right side, which means we're in the upper register of that G note. So what you need to do is take the chromatic scale and ask yourself, well, should I go all the way down to the A that's at the bottom of that scale? or should I just go up two semitones to get to A? So now I'm on a G sharp, that's what the little dot to the right of the G is on this tuner that represents a sharp. So it's going to go all the way off the register of the G sharp, all the way into the lower register of the A. We just bring it all the way up. Okay, so um, I think that just about covers it. I hope that that was a, a moderately entertaining video. Um, if you have any further questions about tuning or guitars or uh, anything with strings on it that I might like, you can always reach me at my website, www.coreywalker.com. Um, check out the forum, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.